Pregame.com. Welcome to Pregame.tv. I'm joined by Tony George, our resident Big 12 expert. Tony, we're going to break down the Big 12, but I'm going to ask you the question, who is your most overrated team in the Big 12? We're looking for value. Well, I'll tell you what, what, what you're hearing a lot about right now is the emergence of West Virginia and TCU coming into the conference. A lot of teams are real high on both of those teams, especially TCU for some reason recently. Now, we all know about West Virginia, Geno Smith, uh, Holgerson, their head coach, obviously was a Big 12 guy, uh, offensive coordinator down at Oklahoma State, had a heck of a team last year. I think they lit up Clemson for like 70 points or something like that in the bowl game last year. It's a lot of highness, and you know, some of their praise is deserved. But I did a couple of radio shows recently with different individuals, and both individuals picked TCU to win this conference. And I just don't see it. Gary Patterson's a great football coach. Um, they have problems on defense with only five, re, you know, returning starters. Now a lot of the guys that are going to play, uh, you know, that are filling in the the departed starter roles are guys obviously that played a lot last year. They have a heavy rotation, so it's not like they're coming they're raw, true freshmen or anything like that. But I want to tell you, so we'll talk about this a little bit more when we really break down the Big Twelve. But a Mountain West schedule is a heck of a lot different than a Big 12 schedule. And there's a lot of people high on TCU, a lot of people high on the amount of wins they're going to have this year. I think the over and under is like nine. Um, I think they're way overrated coming in here, and I think you're going to find a team from a non-BCS conference that's going to come in with back-to-back -back games. You know, when you have West Virginia, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, at Texas, you know, at can you know Kansas State even is a great is a good football team. I looked at the, you know there's not a lot of opinions that I have on teams in the in the Big Twelve, but TCU is one of the ones. They're st I agree with you. They're stepping so far up in class, and if you look at the end of the season with their uh, end of season schedule, I think this team because of the class jump. At the second half of the year, they're going to start to experience injuries because they're going to get beat up in this conference. And with what they finish with at the end of the season, I think they're going to be in trouble. And I think the under is a very good bet on win totals on this team. So that's your most overrated team. Let's go the other way. Who's the most underrated team in the Big 12? West Virginia's got a chance to win the Big 12 this year. You know, with the injuries that Oklahoma's had early in camp, especially to their offensive line. Now, are there some of their receivers, there's some questions there. Obviously, Oklahoma coming off a really tough campaign last year, lost Royals, uh, you know, lost uh, Oklahoma State, uh, lost to Baylor. You know, their defense uh, ranked 79th nationally. Um, so Oklahoma brings in Bob Stoops' brother Mike, who was looking for work anyway because he got fired down <laughs> in Arizona. But uh, nonetheless, um, I still have them pick to finish the number one in this conference, but there's a big but there, big if. This conference is very top heavy this year with two teams, and that's Oklahoma and West Virginia. And West Virginia has the offensive forces to get it done. They have a new defensive coordinator, which incidentally came from Oklahoma State to rejoin his friend, you know, who's now coaching at West Virginia. I think their offense is so explosive. Um, and I think they're so quick. I think that the physicality of the Big 12, and obviously, I, you know, people are going to say, well, Tony, you're flip-flopping because you said that TCU came from weak conference. And yes, West Virginia, the Big East is not the Big 12, but it's a more physical conference than the Mountain West Conference. Um, they're used to playing smash mouth football up there. But I think with the speed of this football team, they're able to avoid a lot of the, you know, pass rushes and big hits that Smith's going to take at quarterback. They've got a, a stable of running backs, kind of a running back by committee, but they run them through there. They rotate very well. They're just like, you know, clockwork on their plays. They're very little huddle at all. And I think this is a team that, unbelievable as this sounds, could come in conceivably this year, the first year as a new participant in a major conference, the second best football conference in the country, six teams out of ten are ranked in the top 25 or top 30, looking at what poll you're at. I think they have a chance to really get it done. Well, wrapping that up, that's shocking that you're, you're that high on West Virginia because 
coming from, you know me, I'm a Big East guy with, you know, loving my Pitt Panthers and everything, and the Big East has got crapped on. Let's face it, you mm -hmm. guys, you know, Absolutely. How, how soft the, the conference has been for being a BCS conference. We've really got, you know, bad rap the last few years, and for West Virginia to come in there, and if they can hold their own, that, that's going to be pretty, uh, I'd like to see that, but we'll see what happens. I will agree with you one thing, the Big East, whatever you want to say about the conference being weak or not weak, they do play more of a smash mouth football and I think that's something that would help West Virginia but they're gonna face some pretty explosive offenses that they don't see those high-powered offenses in the Big East that they're gonna see in the Big 12 but there you have it that's Tony George's most overrated and most underrated team this year in the Big 12 we're gonna come back with another video where Tony's gonna to give you an overview of the Big 12 in general and then we'll be back with more stuff from Tony George here on pregame.tv